Amy and this is Angela. Thanks for visiting Skinopedia. Today we're going to talk about a skincare ingredient that can be potentially harmful if you're using it while you're pregnant or while nursing. Yeah, remember during pregnancy and breastfeeding, anything you come into contact with or anything that you apply to your skin affects not only you but also your baby. So it's important to be familiar with any ingredient that could be potentially harmful. And one of those ingredients, and we're going to talk about it today, are retinoids. Retinoids are a type of vitamin A that speed up your skin cell division or skin cell renewal and also prevent your skin's collagen from breaking down. So naturally as we're aging, as we're getting older, we're looking towards this anti-aging superstar to incorporate into our skincare routine and to help us through this process. However, during pregnancy and breastfeeding, it is one of those ingredients we're going to want to put on hold. Experts are recommending that we not use them. Medical research studies have shown that high levels of vitamin A during pregnancy can cause some birth defects, and most importantly in its oral form. So in a product such as Accutane, which is used for some acne treatment, that has actually been known to cause birth defects. Right. So to date, there are no studies, Angela, that show that a topically applied retinoid is causing birth defects or harm to a baby. However, there are no studies that show that it's safe either. So because it's applied to your skin and that means it's absorbed into your skin, it's better to wave on the side of caution and not to use it rather than reach, risk reaching a high level of vitamin A. Sure, and that's why it's important during pregnancy and breastfeeding that you get familiar with the ingredients on your skincare products. Read the back of your bottles and make sure that you understand what's in them. When we talk about retinoids, retinoids can show up on your ingredient list under many different names, and we're going to actually share those with you today. I do want to emphasize that all of our viewpoints here are based on research. However, we do recommend that you consult your physician about any of these topics. They are the person that knows your health personally, and they are the experts when it comes to pregnancy. Right, and it may seem awkward to bring in your skincare routine into your pregnancy visit, but with all the skincare products that are out there these days and all the different ingredients, um, it's best, it's just a best practice to do that. It's better to wave on that side. Absolutely. So Amy, tell us, let's just talk about what our bottom line is on retinoid use during pregnancy and breastfeeding. Bottom line is definitely to avoid. It's a temporary time and you're going to get that glow from your pregnancy naturally. So you're not missing out on this, this anti-aging ingredient for now. You're going to get that glow and we're going to talk more about that glow in our another one of our skinny segments on hyaluronic acid. So visit some of our other segments. Bye for now.